A group of suspects, including senior members of the ANC in the Eastern Cape, implicated in the Nelson Mandela funeral fraud scandal, are expected to be back in the East London Magistrates Court on corruption charges. The case relates to alleged misuse of funds during the former President Nelson Mandela's funeral in 2013. It is alleged that an amount of 300 million rand was misused. The case against 11 people linked to this matter was withdrawn in May 2019. It is not clear if the same people will be back in court or if there are more added to the case as the investigators are keeping mum. Abongile Yankees is in East London. A very good morning to you, Abongile. A very good morning to you too, Desri, and to the viewers. Well, we're outside the East London um, Magistrate Court where um, these suspects are expected to appear here in the East London Magistrate Court. We've seen um, politicians, high-ranking politicians, making their way in. As you can see, that BMW, that X5 parked there, it's one of the, the high-profile a, a member of the PEC and also an MEC, which I can't name at this stage. Um, with me, I have the provincial spokesperson of the Hawks, Captain Yolisa Mkolotela. A very good morning to you, ma'am. Um, kindly tell us what will take place in court here and um, how far are you with this investigation now that it's in court? Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, today we have come to witness the first appearance of the prominent political figures the former BCMM employees and uh, business people who happened to embezzle the funds that were allocated for the preparation uh, for the, of the memorial service and the funeral of our icon, the late Dr. Nelson Mandela. So today they are alleged to have been involved in the process of embezzlement. We can't say they did, but now they have just come to be charged and then for bail application, we'll hear after we come from the court to how the things have gone by. How many people are we talking about? We are talking about uh, 15 people, but one of them at the moment, because of the COVID uh, pandemic, was unable to come as he is on uh, isolation. Speaking about this case, it has dragged on for quite a while. Um, yes. What makes you so confident, confident now that um, you've he you, you are confident that it will go through without any, any further delays? Uh, basically, you know, the court processes, uh, they are the authorities who are able to say the evidence that we have acquired, the evidence that we have brought forward is uh, satisfactory. In other words, we have a very strong belief that according to their assessment, we are going to crack the case. How much money are we talking about these individuals are implicated in? We are talking about 10 million rands. Um, in the Eastern Cape, uh, it's, it's alleged that there's, uh, the, the whole sum is 300 million. How are you getting to that, to that 290 million that was, also, that was also being investigated, particularly by the public protector? Well, as for that one, we, I am not aware of. Okay. Yes. The information that we have so far is that they, embezzled a sum, they are alleged to have embezzled a sum of 10 million rands. I thank you so much, ma'am. I hope we will speak after the court proceedings. Thank you, sir. Well, Desiree, it will be interesting to, to hear from the ANC in, in the province about this court appearance as the, these are senior members of the, of the ANC and some hold even public position about them stepping out. But for now, we'll have to rush into court and hear what the magistrate has to say, Desiree. Let's let you go there.